PX3 Ranger Automatic. So 3.2 litre. This one's come in for a remap. Car is completely stock, stock exhaust system, DPF, exactly as it come off the um, production or the showroom floor. So um, after getting it in, doing a baseline test, the car makes 104 kilowatts in standard form. And then after the remap, it makes 121 kilowatts um, and super clean out the exhaust. And you'll see in the video footage, which I take from the back of the car, shows you nice clean exhaust, you know, no soot out the back, which is what you want out of these cars. Um, those days are all over now, so you want to keep the exhaust nice and clean. And um, yeah, so we'll, we'll have a look at the dyno sheets. So as you can see, good gains all the way from the bottom, good torque increase right off the bottom. So this is sort of around your 2000 revs, or sorry, 1700 revs, and then, you know, 2000, 2200. So right in the areas where you're using the vehicle, and that's obviously your power, you know, before and after. So you're seeing a 60 Newton meter increasing torque right off the bottom, and then a nice gradual increase, you know, across the entire rev range. 17 kilowatts increase in total torque, peak torque, which isn't really important. We're only really interested in the low down torque, which is where you drive this vehicle. Hook a trailer on the back. This is the area that you're going to spend all your time. You're not going to spend much time up here unless you're a lead foot. Um, but, you know, most of your time is done in the lower ranges, and that's why we concentrate on getting the bottom end power exactly where it needs to be. Another thing to take note of is that, yeah, there are cars out there that are making a little bit more power than this. Um, the PX3s, you don't want to push the turbocharger too hard, and let's face it, we don't want to tune something that we know is on a ragged edge and the car's going to come back with a failure. So at the end of the day, we need to tune reliability into these vehicles. Um, just like the manufacturer does, and we need to leave a nice safety buffer. So, you know, leaning on these things and pushing on them isn't in our job. It's not how we work. Um, you know, if you want a hot tune, that's probably somewhere else to go. We're not really the people for that. Um, when it comes to these diesel trader youths and so on, we know what the cars are being used for. They're used for a purpose, and they're used to tow trailers, get you from work, A to B, and so on. They're not a racing car. So, you know, doing things outside of what they're capable of doing is only just, you know, stretching the band-aid and you know, sooner or later, you're gonna have issues. So it's always best to keep things nice and safe and clean, clean exhaust, low EGTs and so on. So um, I thought I'd just do that video. I've had a few people requesting for the Ford Ranger and wanting to know, you know, what sort of gains we see out of them. Uh, the PX2 Ranger and PX1 Rangers, we do get a little bit more power and that's only because of the turbocharger that's on them those turbos are more capable and do allow us to run a little bit more boost and don't suffer the um, the shaft breakages and all that that the PX3 does suffer. So unfortunately, we just can't lean on the PX3 too much. But you know what? The low down gains are the same and the car will still feel as good or if not better, you know. So at the end of the day, look at the gains from where you start and where you finish. Um, do things for a purpose. And if you need the remap to give you that bottom end torque, this is for you. Um, if you're chasing top end power, it's a little bit different story. But yeah, anyway... Thanks guys, thanks for watching, see you next time.